What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about some new data mined info that has been leaked about Battlefield 6. Now, this is data mined info, so you always can kind of take it with a grain of salt when it comes to leaked info. But this is from data miner Tom Henderson, uh, which has leaked some stuff in the past that usually turns out to be pretty legitimate. Just keep this, like I said, just keep in mind it is leaked, but I found a lot of this to be pretty interesting. I think a lot of you may kind of be interested to hear about some of the things that have been kind of... Uh, or there's some stuff that's out there in, you know, in, in some files that may be coming to Battlefield 6 at the end of the year, this year when it is released. Sorry about no gameplay in the background. Some reason this morning when I got up and, and, and turned on my Elgato and was going to you know take some gameplay out that I had saved from Battlefield in my Elgato, nothing wanted to work. So it's going to have to go kind of with uh, just some the menu background from the game right now from Battlefield 5. So uh, sorry about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing that was kind of discussed was the game being not a remastered version of Battlefield 3, but kind of a reboot version of Battlefield 3. They're looking to heavily kind of be inspired, I guess that's how they worded it, by Battlefield 3, which is a, a great thing in my opinion because Battlefield 3 was one of my favorites uh, of the modern kind of era Battlefield games. Also kind of glad to hear they're not going back with the World War One and World War Two kind of uh, idea either. Um, I think the modern formula is a lot better uh, for fans nowadays so i think a lot of people will be happy to hear that and also if you if you look back i think you're going to kind of hear a lot of similar things that you've heard call of duty do uh, kind of over the last few years and as you remember modern warfare was supposed to be kind of a rebooted version of older modern warfare games so what are what they're really meaning by a reboot it's not just a remastered version but just they take a lot of ideas from those popular games and kind of put them into a new game with new engine uh kind of new ideas and things like that so I was glad to hear that it is inspired by Battlefield 3. It's going to be a, a modern style game. Does that mean we're going to get, you know, Levolution again where buildings fall down, that kind of thing? I'm not sure. I will kind of have to wait and see on that one. When it comes to player count, the one thing that I thought was really interesting in this data mined info was that there's files for 128 player multiplayer. Now, Battlefield 5 carried 64 players on, on all platforms. Uh, 128 players is going to be an absolutely massive amount of players. Now, does that mean it's going to be for multiplayer only? I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm kind of curious about this because there are some rumors about uh, DICE making another Battle Royale game, kind of taking another chance with Battle Royale. Uh, Battle Royale and Battlefield Five was, I thought, could have been a lot better if it would have been free, if they would actually put some time into it after it was released to fix some of the issues, and they did not, and it kind of just died off. I think they have seen, once again, the success that Call of Duty has had with Warzone, and they may be trying to come up with a, you know, big kind of, you know, massive Battle Royale kind of idea. 128 players would be awesome if they had the support for it. I'm not sure, like I said, if it's going to be 128 players in Battle Royale or it's actually going to be 128 players in multiplayer. If it's 128 players in multiplayer, that's going to be insane. Uh, I, that would make me think that the game would not be on old gen. I would think you would only be able to play 128 players on new gen and PC. I mean, I, I just don't see old gen consoles being able to handle 128 players properly in multiplayer. If you had things like, just say, Levolution, you know, going on, you have tanks, you have planes, that kind of thing. I just don't really see uh, old gen consoles being able to handle that. So I'm going to be curious to see in the future when we get some more info from DICE, from EA, if this is the case, exactly how they're going to handle this. Another thing they talked about, of course, and the one thing that I was not really surprised at all to see kind of in these data mine files was Battlefield 6 will be cross-gen. Um, that's really no surprise at all. Uh, if this is the case, there is going to be 128 players. The leak does suggest that the 128 players will not be available on old gen and will be limited to 32 versus 32 gameplay. So I'm, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out. Um, how they're going to do that if you're going to make it, you know, if old gen's not going to be cross-platform, if it's going to be just new gen consoles and PC. The data mined info didn't really go into too much detail about that. But I'm not surprised to see the game going cross-gen. A lot of things, once again, Call of Duty included, have gone cross-gen and have become very popular. You even look at uh, some games like Apex Legends, which has been out for a while, was not cross-gen when it was first released. And it's now kind of turned into that cross-gen game. So... I wasn't really surprised to hear this. I am kind of curious to see how they're going to do it with old gen and new gen because I would really be surprised if it didn't make Battlefield 6 for old gen because we really have not gotten 
to the point of where the the new gen consoles have been out for so long that they really don't make games for old gen anymore. I mean, new gen consoles have already been out for a couple months, and most people still do not have them. We're not quite sure what the supply and demand is going to be like by the end of the year. Will we all have one? Will everyone have one that needs one or wants one? Nobody really knows yet. So, um, but I did find that kind of interesting that they're talking about. If it is an old gen, it's only going to be 32 on 32 still. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see if the cross platform is only going to be for new gen and PC or if it's going to include old gen as well. And, you know, I'm just not quite sure how that's going to work if they do it. That means, you know, PC and, and new gen would have to have a 32 versus 32 mode as well as the massive 120 some odd player mode is what, you know, uh, what they're kind of talking about. And last but not least, uh, they didn't talk about a little bit more in this data mined info about Battle Royale development. And it just said that EA had been really impressed with the, uh, the huge success of Warzone. And, of course, the one thing that Battlefield 5 did do well, of course, they did have free DLC. So I'm wondering if EA and DICE have learned, you know, we're going to make a game. We're going to have to make a game that's good, that people enjoy to play. Let's make DLC for free. Let's make, you know, a, a Battlefield 6, if that's what the game's going to be called. Battle Royale It's going to be free as well. And I do find it very interesting that they're talking about, you know, making a, or, you know, seeing the success of Warzone and how they want to, you know, develop it. And it's been leaked several times that, you know, or over the past several months that there is another Battle Royale in development. I'm curious to see if this is going to be something that comes out on release. I'm curious to see if this is something actually is going to be free. And I'm also curious to see if this is something that's going to be maybe a separate thing totally. Maybe it's not going to be like Warzone. Maybe it's not going to be completely integrated with a new Battlefield game. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this data mined info. Like I said, it is data mined, so... Always can take it with a grain of salt, but I thought this was some pretty solid, you know, information. And of course, like I said, it comes from someone that leaks this information that's usually pretty accurate with all the things they put out. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. And if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you hit the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when everything goes live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time.